Uh, I give Southern Miss some credit. Thought they played exceptionally well, um, particularly that first 20 minutes. Uh, they came in loose, made shots. Yeah, I thought this from the get-go. Just not when the game started. I just felt it. You know, you lead up this game, and, and it's understandable. I understand it. it happens all the time. Um, Thursday night was a really emotional game. The building was emotional. We were emotional. We left a lot on that court Thursday night. I didn't think we had that edge. Edge. And for us, you know, it's a small margin for error. And you let a team come in, it's a really good team, number one. You know, like I said, they've won on, won on the road at UAB. They've beaten Charlotte, and they don't get a chance to play in front of big crowds. All of a sudden, you come in, and you get a little excited, too, in front of a big crowd, and you make some shots, and everything works better for them. And we were kind of on our heels a bunch the first half. You know, they did a good job attacking our press early and scoring against it. I think first four possessions, they got layups. And it kept us from doing something that's been really effective for us. Um, second half, we got out of it. First four or five minutes of the first half and didn't didn't play it much more. Second half, we can't change up a little bit. We didn't get many steals. But we were able to get in the press enough, ate up some clock. Southern Miss is a half-court team. They want to grind it in a half-court run a set every time. If you can press a little bit, keep them from doing that. Like I said, the first half we weren't able to. The second half we were better at it. But a couple stats that's always important. You know, I walk in here a bunch with this stat. And it saves us so many nights, particularly when you don't shoot it great. Um, you know, we saw zone tonight for the first time probably since Rice. It's been a long time. That zone slowed us down. First half, we weren't very efficient against it. Second half, we were much more efficient against it. But here's a stat that you got to have against the zone. Sec for the game, we shoot 24 free throws. Make 19 of them, they only attempt 11. That's a huge stat when you don't shoot it great. In the second half, we got the ball inside Carson against that zone. I think he had 14 in the second half. And we took care of the basketball. You know, we turned it over three times for the whole game. So offensively, second half, we scored 44 points second half. Only gave up 31. So there's a huge difference right there. First half, we didn't quite have that edge, give them credit. But through a season, you hope you only have one or two of these. Hey, we have a bunch of them. We're to like this. And again, those guys deserve credit for staying together. You know, keep believing and keep fighting. Um, I know Jared left that time out. I don't know when it was, two or three minutes to go. We had a couple guys that bit some threes, and I thought he was a little bit hesitant. I think Cam, Cam turned down a three over at one time. I remember Jared telling everybody, hey, when you open, because we had the four shooters in, Rawls and Josh is out of the game. You open, jump up, and shoot with confidence. And again, that's what Savage did late in that game from our bench. That's what Cam Justice did from our bench, jump up and shoot with some confidence. So again, big win for us. Um, survive it. Um, and again, a good, hard fought win against a really good team. Question. Jared was saying having Cam back isn't just having a body back now. Well, I get to see him in the games when we don't practice. So wherever I see, it's in the games. You know, he's basically non-contact in practice, and it's two games he's been able to come back and play now. So once you play this time of year, you'll start getting a little bit of rhythm back. Um, you know, we have confidence in Cam Justice at any time to jump up and make shots. But even when he's not making shots, he gives you great experience. He gives you a guy that sees next play happening. And that's, again, very valuable for our team. Just more on that, that press, excuse me, the, the zone that Southern Miss did just forced you guys to take take the shots. I mean, they were, they were hitting them pretty well. And then it seemed like just on the other side, you all just uh, their, their zone. Their zone against us. Well, I think the first half, for sure. Um, you know, we only score 31 points first half. I don't know how many of those came against the zone. They started out manning. Um, then they went zone. They got a the little bit of lead and went zone. Uh, I thought we were um, rushed things. Sometimes the first shot's not always the best shot. And you got to find ways a little bit to get that ball in around that paint. Again, we're not a big team to get around that paint. 
But the second half, you'll remember, we got it to Josh along the baseline a couple times where he got fouled. Then we got it to Carson a bunch. Then we spread them, we, we spread them out a couple times and we got it to the paint again by driving it. Josh got it there by driving it. You can't just live and die by shooting threes against it. So second half, we threw it there some. Josh along the baseline, Carson inside. Josh drove it. Um, and all that does is opens up, claps, and gives you some better looks at the three-point line. Just how big was this home stand, getting two wins over two good teams after what happened in Florida last week? Hey, listen, it's big any time for us. I mean, you know what our guys are fighting. You know what we did Thursday night? The motion we all played with, the motion the building had. And to come back out quickly with a short bench, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, it's your human nature. Southern Miss is not top of the league. But that don't mean they're not a good team. They are a good team. So if you don't have that edge, we're not good enough to, you know, not have a little bit of edge. Second half, we got it back some. Got it back some. And again, uh, that's a credit to those guys finding ways to dig in when you have to dig in and make plays and get stops. How did you like the minutes that Isaiah gave tonight? You know Isaiah's going, he's going to give you everything he's got, every minute he's out there. Whatever mistakes he makes, it's not his fault. Only experience is going to cure that sometimes. Um, you know, he's going to fight. He's going to get better. He's gotten better. It's just, it's tough for a young guy fighting some of the guys. He's got to fight to speed that game. Uh, but we need him. Whatever minutes he plays um, are invaluable minutes. Anything else to go? All right. Thank you. Got it.